What's going on, everybody? This weather sucks. It's sunny one day, nice out, and this crap, but it's not that bad. It could be worse. This is the best summer we've had since I've been born, shit, or winter we've had. But the Jeep's going good. Lift kit's on. I've done a lot to this thing in the last couple weeks. I'm good. I know it's got a new starter, battery, front and back brake pads, rotors, uh, new tires, front and back bumpers, smoked LED tail lights. I ordered new side skirt, side skirt things today. They're steel. They're a little bit smaller than these, so it'll look a little better. The tiles, tires will look a little bit bigger than they do with these big things on there. Um, they'll be just a little bit smaller. They're going to have an LED running light here that when you hit your turn signals, it'll flash orange. Otherwise, when you got your running lights on, this will be LED. Uh, we did the complete suspension lift. It's rough country. Uh, dual steering stabilizer shocks, um, everything front and rear. I got adjustable track bars in the front and in the back. Rubicon comes with them, but they're not like the aftermarket. That way it'll keep together for her and not get that death wobble. I painted underneath everything black. It was already looking good. For a 2011, this thing's clean as hell. Uh, new smoked lenses, smoked lenses, smoked LED lenses, LEDs in the bumpers, new front grill. New hood latch covers, new fuel cap cover on the other side, new antenna. Uh, everything's looking good on the frame here. It's looking good. I got all that looking black there. Uh, I took the grill off. I got the Rubicon sticker I put on there. I took the grill off again and painted everything black like that and all that. It looked like crap. So I repainted everything and then put the grill back on. Uh, what else we do? These stupid steps are driving me nuts. FedEx was supposed to deliver them yesterday. They brought them today when I wasn't there, obviously, because you got to sign for it, and I don't know why. I made a big mess about that because out of 18 things I ordered, one thing, a stupid $280 bumper or steps is going to be signed for when I had more expensive stuff than that and I didn't have to sign for it. They just left it in the front yard, as a matter of fact. But what else? Oh, we need this. Um, what else did we do? Uh, it's got a new drive shaft, rear drive shaft, new front uh, drive shaft, new U joints. Three new tire pressure sensors, which I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for that stuff myself just to help Dan out because he's been a lot fixing this thing. Because this thing just sat and it just it was run down, beat down. Uh, in here, so far, all I've added was these, so she could put stuff in them. Uh, hold on a second. Um, this thing here comes out. We got that. Put your phone. People can put their phone in passenger can. I did that saddle there. Right there. Put, you know, stuff in. More storage. Um, what else did I do in here? Something else. I guess not. I got to get seat covers. But other than that. Oh, I got to get Shane my tent guy to put a new head unit in this thing, a touch screen and tint these windows black and a strip on top and the windshield. And not really much more to do inside other than tent and radio. I need to get a chain to schedule me an appointment. I know he's busy. I've got so many more shops. This, this thing's gotta still get the rear main seal cause it's leaking at the transmission. With a transmission, uh, oh, uh, transmission and motor bolt up. So I know it's a rear main seal. I watched a video on it, and it's, I mean, it's not hard, but you gotta unbolt the transmission, everything. 
kind of, you don't have to take it out, you gotta kind of slide it over, but you gotta disconnect everything to do it. You gotta disconnect the exhaust there to get it out of your way. And then once you pull it apart, it's just like five bolts or six bolts. You pull this whole thing off and it's got the rear main seal in it already. When you buy the new one, it comes with it. You can just pop it on there and bolt it down and put everything back together. It's not that hard. I mean, I'm sure a normal shop can do it in a day. It's, it doesn't, I watched the whole video. But it's got to get that rear main seal fixed. The check engine light's still on. And we're thinking it's because the camshaft sensor's still throwing a code, even though it was replaced. But it's, uh, I forgot I had the phone on my face. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, it's got to get the radio and tent. It's the tent guy. It's got to get the oil pan or oil leak fix, which I'm waiting on State Street to call me to give me a quote. They haven't. He said he would, but he must be busy. Or they might not want to do it. But that's going to be a place that, that's got to get done somewhere. And then it's got to go to Wire Wizard for that camshaft sensor problem. So that's three places. Tent and radio is the same guy. Uh oil leak i'm not sure if they're going to give us a good price and want to do it i hope they do because i like dealing with with uh state street they're really up front and to the point and quick and i was happy with the service i got there so and i was happy with the price everything the lift kit and everything so um i'm hoping they call me back on that but that's the shop it's got to get the oil leak fixed another shop for the wire wizard for the short with the camshaft sensor problem with the wires the rats got in there and then um tent and radio and that's pretty much it um michael helped me do the side steps those and it's gonna look better because they'll be black and not that plastic crap that fades and always looks like shit and when you buff the truck you gotta stay off of it it's, those things are terrible so i got some steel ones coming but once i get them windows tinted this thing will really look murdered out try not to add no chrome Oh, that's another thing. Lost the 